guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and this is my very first ever life update dog training vlog. <laughs> and so this is a totally new video, uh, type of video for my channel, so I hope you guys like it. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Once you do a bell will pop up, click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And I really want to hear from all of you. Post your comments below and let me know if you like this type of video, if you don't like this type of video. Um, I really wanna know because I need to figure if you want me to continue doing videos like this or not. And I, you know, your input is what determines what kind of videos that I do next. And so yeah, this is just a, a vlog style, like life update type video. We have been quarantined-ish <laughs> in our home for over seven weeks now. Um, I'm in California, I'm in San Diego. So being home all the time, of course, has been totally different. Something so like outlandishly different from anything we've ever done before and I think you all are probably feeling the same way at least a, a lot of you you know of course we have essential workers and delivery people and um, you know shoppers and things like that that don't have the luxury of staying home or, or just can't stay home and you know I mean thank you so much for being out there and doing what you do and you know it's it's for me as a dog trainer obviously I can't go in people's homes and train dogs. Um, you know, I, I've seen some trainers, very, very few, but some trainers trying to train uh, through like Zoom calls and things like that. And I considered it. Um, I don't wanna say I didn't consider it, but I did consider it and it just, like I could do that. And uh, there, there, there could be some amount of success seen in doing that. I do, I do think though that um, the type of instruction that people are expecting from an in-person dog trainer is vastly different from the type of instruction that you get in say an online course because I do have an online course and the, the, the type of instruction is totally different. So in the online course, for example, I am specifically showing you how to do things so that you can then go back and, and, and explaining concepts so that you can then go back when once you're done watching the videos and actually implement these things, have an understanding of, of the reasoning behind the things you're doing and the things that you're looking for and the reactions you're looking for um, so that when you go, when you sit down with your dog, you understand what it is you're trying to do. Versus um, when you're going into somebody's home, you're, you know, I try to do a lot of that same thing, but it's people ex people's expectations are different. People expect to see you provide results with their dog in front of you, in front of them, which is totally understandable. That's how a typical in-person dog training works. And I, I definitely, like I appreciate both aspects. I really love the online course because I feel like it, and, and even some of the videos that I put up on YouTube, I'm explaining to you when you're watching the video, the concepts behind the, the instrument of training, right? I'm explaining the concepts and I'm showing you how you shape the behavior so that you can take that back with, you know, in your home with your dog on your own and practice. It, I, I appreciate that so very much um, because I, I feel like I can reach a lot more people that way, right? So there's, there's, but it's definitely very different from actually going into somebody's home and training with them, their dog with them. Um, whereas, you know, I try to do some of the same things, but there, there's a lot of different expectation there. And, and I love both of them for very different reasons. So it's been, it's been an adjustment. Um, though I will say that uh, going into people's homes and training with them and their dogs is, is a part-time gig for me. Um, I, I try to do a lot with my online courses and I have a day job. I have um, you know, a, a regular nine to five and I have been very, very fortunate in that the last almost six years, 
my day job, I, I work from home. So I can, I can accomplish what I need to do in my day job, even though I'm working for someone else, I can accomplish that at home because I work online. So uh, that day job actually, uh, for, for many weeks, up until about a week ago, for many weeks, um, was keeping me very, very busy during this new quarantine lifestyle. So I am fortunate in that, um, that I, that I have that to fall back on. Um, so, you, you know, I just did want to provide that update and kind of give you like where my headspace is at as a trainer and, you know, the disappointment I do have in not being able to go into people's homes and help them one-on-one -on -one with their dogs. I do, you know, I, I mean, I miss, I miss that part. I miss being able to interact with other people's dogs, though I have been at home more with my dog, Kim, which I love. And, and I do spend a lot of time at home in general, um, even before this. So I have a very strong bond and connection with my dog, Kim, but um, I've been able to, to utilize her more in, our, in some of the videos that I put up on YouTube and um, I've been able to work with her on a few different things that I really hadn't felt the need or desire to work with her on before. She, um, she's my companion, so I don't expect her to perform like, you know, a show dog. Um, so there, there are certain things that I hadn't taught her before, and so we worked on those a little bit so I can show you how to shape different behaviors um, and videos on YouTube. So that's been pretty interesting and pretty cool. Uh, so I, you know, that I, I hope you guys have seen some of those videos. If you haven't, I'll post, or you know, you can check out some of the, the best videos for you at the end of the video it'll pop up i'm not i think on this side no this i don't know it'll pop up at the end of the video so stick around to the end of the video um to see that but um yeah so so far i really hope you're enjoying this video i kind of like doing this style of video I, I you know i've just planned out some of the things i wanted to say but um one thing that i did want to talk about and i i know i have mentioned it i think i mentioned it primarily on like a live Q&A that I did uh, maybe a little over a month ago was the fact that because so many people are spending so much more time at home, um, there's definitely a strong possibility that many dogs are going, are going to experience feelings of separation anxiety when we go back to our normal everyday lives and leaving the house again. So I did want to kind of touch on that with you guys because I do think it's something that's going to be very important, especially as we start returning to work, which should be happening uh, in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, um, fingers crossed. So it's a good time to start preparing for life to return to something more normal where you are leaving the house more often and so it's going to be a good idea to start providing your dog with some alone time and I, I I'll link in the description below the video where I talked about this a little bit more in detail but it's going to be a really good idea to even um, you know maybe you're taking multiple walks a day on one of those walks don't take your dog so that's going to be a good practice for when you start to get your life going back to normal. Um, let your dog spend some time alone in another room without you, even if it's only for 30 minutes a day, or maybe twice a day, 30 minutes at a time. That would be really, really awesome so that you are in encouraging your dog to be um, not quite so tied to your hip, right? Because they probably are right now, which is wonderful, and we love that. We love that feeling, but when, life starts getting back to normal and you're leaving the house on a more consistent basis again, there are going to be feelings of separation anxiety on your dog's part, very possibly, and we don't want that. So now is a good time to start practicing these things and letting your dog realize that they can be comfortable on their own. Even if it's just for short periods of time right now, we can start building up to longer periods of time so that it's not all thrust upon them all at once when life does go back to normal. So I would really highly recommend that everyone start practicing this with their dogs uh, in preparation for returning back to work or whatever it is that you may have going on in your life. So I did want to mention that in this video because I do think it's going to be, um, I think it's going to be an issue 
for a lot of people uh, and people are not going to understand how to handle it and it is it's serious and it's something that should not be ignored so if your dog does have or does develop separation anxiety um, don't write it off it is serious it is something your dog feels it's a they are real feelings and they are legitimate they're not something that we should just set aside and say oh whatever they'll get over it that's not how separation anxiety works so uh, practice it's going to be much better to prevent something from happening than try to uh, fix it and, and cure it once it does happen, right? So let's practice, put some prevention into practice now and let your dog spend some time on their own. ACP. Let your dog spend a little bit of time each day on their own and start building that up so that separation anxiety is less likely to occur when life does return back to normal. Um, so yeah, that has been kind of my life update. I, I really wish, you know, of course there are, there are things, right? And I, you know, I could get nitpicky and say, you know, I'm I really wish I could go get a pedicure. I really wish I could get my hair done. Um, I'm letting my bangs grow out because I haven't been able to get my hair done in so long and they are a hot mess, which is why they're pulled back right now. So, you know, these are just little nitpicky things that obviously I wish I could get done. I wish I could go do, but you know, that that's just, that's, that's, that's just life right now, right? So um, just getting out of the house and going for a walk sometimes has been, has been difficult because the media is really like on you about how bad things are. And then you look outside and you're like, but they don't seem that bad. And so it's, it's really confusing and I understand all the confusion. Um, and if you would like to share uh, your thoughts on the situation, what's going on in your life, do so. Post it in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Um, and I'm very curious if you enjoyed this video at all, if you want more videos like this on my channel, more life updates. I don't tend to do a whole lot of like personal stuff on my channel because it's mostly about our pets. And the reality is that our lives and our pets lives are so intertwined. It's, it, it gets to a point where it's hard not to, um, you know, put put the, these things together. So uh, let me know if you like this kind of video. If you want more of this type of video, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you like it, if you want more and uh, more life update type videos, um, more of a dog training vlog, more of a dog trainer <laughs> vlog, um, pet parent coach, which is what I prefer to be called. But you know, that's kind of a new term that most people uh, are not very familiar with. It's not going to stick in their head. So I kind of have to go with dog trainer a lot of times. Um, but also along with this type of video, send me questions, post in the comments below on any of my videos. Um, but this one in particular, if you have a question about your pet and you'd like for me to answer it, obviously nothing that's like, you know, a medical emergency. You definitely need to talk to your vet about any type of medical emergency. Don't wait for me or anyone else on social media to to help answer any type of medical emergency. Go straight to your veterinarian for that information. But if you have just like a general, hmm, I wonder type of question, or you know, post it in the comments below on this video, on any of my videos, and maybe you know I can just do an update, a Q&A update type video where I'm answering the questions that I get in the comments of my videos. I would love to do that type of video for you guys too, uh, but you got to ask me the questions. So put them, post in the comments uh, below and let me know your questions so that I can do a video to answer them. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I liked doing this type of video. Um, it kind of like opens up more of a dialogue between me and you. So I like that idea. So let me know in the comments if you do too. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Once you do, the bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you each time I post a new video. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.